Damn, guys, even during quarantine, it never stops. It never stops. Right now, there's currently a rumor going around that the admin for my server is a pedophile. So I'm just going to shut it down right now and say that he's not. He's not a fucking pedophile. Uh, but let's explain. Let's get into it, shall we? So a little bit of a backstory. I was overwhelmed with running my Discord. I did not want to even deal with it anymore. It became too much for me to handle on top of everything else, so I needed someone to take the responsibilities. I needed an admin to take over. So I made my friend Cal an admin of my server. Basically, he has all responsibilities for running the server now, ever since he took over. I don't do much in there anymore, in terms of moderation at least. Now, I gave it to Cal because he's always been one of my most loyal viewers, always been one of my most loyal moderators. He's been a patron of mine. He's always been a huge help, and I've had many moderators over the years who are like that as well. And another one of them is named Kaz. Kaz was also a runner-up to be in this position of admin. The only problem is that he would always say edgy stuff. He would always push the line just a little bit, a little bit too far to the point where it started to, to break the rules. You know, one of the rules in my server is to not say anything too offensive. You know what I mean? Uh, he would always push that a little bit farther than, than was ever comfortable. I decided to go with someone as an admin who wouldn't do that kind of stuff. So shortly after I make Cal the admin, Kaz decides to go into another YouTuber's Discord server and starts spreading these rumors. Here are some screenshots of some things that he said in this server. This is him right here. He's changed his username many times over the years, but this was his current one on April 7th. I left that place after I got my messages deleted because I was calling out the admin for dating a minor. And this is his proof right here. We're going to take a look. So, Boobis, I cannot believe I'm saying Boobis in this video, is, I believe, 16 years old. Cal, the admin for my server, is 22 years old, I believe. So, these are the two people in question that they're saying are in a relationship. And if that's true, then that's very bad, because that is a large age difference, and one of them is under 18. So that's not good. So let's look at the proof. Canada asks, how long have you and Bob been together, Cal? Cal responds, hasn't been long. And then continues to say, it has been approximately five nanoseconds. Boobis, the person who King Cal is allegedly dating, says it's been longer. It's like our monthly anniversary thing today. Then Cal says, our three month will be the day after 420. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a joke. When you say things like, we've been dating for approximately five nanoseconds and our anniversary will be the day after 420, that sounds like a joke. So I was curious after seeing that, I was like, yeah, that definitely sounds like a joke, but is there more to this that I don't know? So I messaged Boobis and I said, hey there, what is all this I'm hearing about you dating Cal? Oh, hi, I'm not. Kaz doesn't like me is what I've come to learn. Sorry, you got involved. And I said, can you elaborate? And Rubis said, I just joke around about it in the server, just like everyone else does with each other. I think he took it the wrong way. It's confusing. Cal's just a friend of mine. See, the way I read Cal's messages were exactly how it's described here by Boobis, him or herself. I read it along the lines of Boobis having the mental state of, oh, we're definitely dating Cal, aren't we? And Cal saying, oh, yes, definitely. We absolutely are. You know, very sarcastically as a joke. And Boobis confirmed that it was a joke. What did Cal say? I reached out to Cal as well. I've covered both of our profile pictures here on Telegram just to protect our identity. I said, I'm very confused and have no idea WTF these people are talking about, LMAO. Can you fill me in? She sent me these saying it's proof you're dating a minor. So someone sent me all those screenshots that we just looked at. And I just, above here, I sent those screenshots to him. And I asked him to explain what the hell that was about because I wanted to know. And he said, they're accusing me of being a pedo. Cause started the rumor in the which is what I was texting you about last week. But I'm not dating a minor. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not sure what bad blood I have with Kaz, but it stemmed from his departure, which is why I texted you last week about these rumors are starting to eat away at my mental health. I'm not fucking dating anyone, much less a minor on Discord of all places. So that was the entire evidence. That was all of it. That is that is literally it. There were a few more screenshots that just show that Cal is 22 and Boobis is like 16 or something. That's accurate. So I'm telling you, yes, that is accurate. They are a large age difference, but literally all we have to go off of is those Discord messages. And people are acting as if that is proof that Cal is a fucking pedophile. Are you kidding me? It has been approximately five nanoseconds is not proof that someone is a fucking pedophile. Do you guys understand how proof works? 
I feel like I'm the only sane person left in the entire world. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You know, it seems to have all come from cause. Remember the runner up to getting the admin position in my Discord server, who I ended up not giving it to. I went with Cal instead of him. And I don't think that he liked the way that Cal was running things because Cal was not as edgy as he was. Kaz always took it way too far, was pushing the line of extremely offensive, always. He was always causing problems in my Discord server. And Cal put a stop to it like he should have done. That's what his job was. And I think that Kaz did not like that. Before he left my server, these are the types of things he was saying. I just think we should be more pro-free speech in order to be a more desirable server to more demographics. Joke included in free speech. I don't want to see this place turn into some place that censors the word, that word, and progresses to banning cuss words altogether. Now, the reason that he's saying this is because Cal was removing messages where he said things that were way too offensive because he was crossing the line. I think that made him just incredibly upset and angry. And I think that it made him not only angry, but salty that he didn't get the admin position on top of, you know, being quote unquote talked down to by the person in power. So he left and took it to another YouTuber's server to try to get everyone in that server against me and my friends and my admin, try to get everyone there on his side because he was salty. Even going as far to say things such as, bruh, I have a grand plan. The reason that I'm telling you about all this, I was going to just ignore it because it's complete bullshit. It's stupid. It's the most ridiculous thing ever, and it doesn't deserve any ounce of my attention. But I'm telling you this because I've had commentary channels contact me about this, sending me the same screenshots saying things like, we believe this is substantial evidence that your, your admin is a pedophile. Now, I'm not going to show you what they said. I'm not going to show you DMs. I'm not going to tell you who they are. But these people are some of the people who have made some of the most popular anti-PK Russell videos on YouTube. And they're really out here trying to tell me that this is proof that someone is a pedophile. <laughs> so I'm making this video to tell you all what the truth of the matter is and how ridiculous it all is. Because if I don't, then commentary channels would make videos making it sound completely real. And I have to, I have to get the truth out there first because otherwise I'd be boxed in. This is ridiculous. This is not how I wanted to spend my Saturday night. You know what I mean? Especially during a fucking global pandemic, dude. I cannot believe that people are trying to do this during a global pandemic. When the last thing we need is stupid drama like this. It's stupid. And in response, people are probably going to say, Oh, well, why don't you just remove Cal's power, Parker? Even if it's not true, that's just the safest route. You're right. It is the safest route. But you know what makes me different from other YouTubers is that I have, you know, dignity. I have respect for people. I'm not just going to remove someone's powers because they were accused of something with zero substantial proof. That's not how I work. And that will never be how I work. So if you think that there's a problem with that, then you can go fuck yourself. And that right there is not a joke. That's that's completely real. We're, it's ridiculous that we're at the point where even just accusing someone of something... Everyone just takes it as if it's real. You know what I mean? With, with doesn't You don't even need proof or anything. I thought that we were past this. I thought we were just finally starting to get over cancel culture and everything related to it. You know, back when Glitch was being accused of being a pedophile, I made a tweet that said, are you actually a poppy fur if you've never been accused of being a pedophile? And everyone, and I had so many responses to that, to that tweet saying, wow, this is such a bad take. And you know what happened? It turns out he wasn't a fucking pedophile. You know what I mean? That same thing applies to people associated with poppy furs, such as Cal being associated to me. It's just a rite of passage th these days, you know? Now, would I remove him if there was actual, real, actual proof that without a doubt proved that he was dating a minor? Of course I would. Of course I would. But I'm not going to remove one of my good friends from these powers just because a salty person who didn't get the admin role on my Discord server spread rumors without any substantial proof. I'm not going to do that. That goes against my values completely. And if you have a problem with that, your values are completely fucked up. That's just all there is to it. This is ridiculous. This is wasting my time. I've wasted my Saturday night. I'm done. This is stupid. Stop falsely accusing people of things. It's so easy. It's so easy to do. If you're going to make an accusation, get proof first and then make it. These commentary channels are vicious. They're looking for any little dropling of anything that they can turn into a huge story. 
One particular person who messaged me about this has made two videos against me that have been extremely popular. Two. And he sent the screenshots to me, and he said, this seems substantial evidence to me. I guarantee you, if I did not respond to that, which I didn't, and if I didn't make this video, then he would make a video titled something like, P.K. Russell has a pedophile running his Discord server. Stupid bullshit like that. Now, I don't know if that was actually his intention or not, was to see if I would respond, you know, and then if not, make a video. That sure seemed what it was, it was like. You know, I've been boxed in a corner with this. If I don't respond, then I'm screwed. If I do respond, then I'm screwed. You know, if I don't respond, then I risk having someone make a video making it look like I have a fucking pedophile running my Discord server. But if I if I do respond with this video, then I am going to be people are going to say that I'm stirring up drama. It's a it's a lose-lose situation for me. What am I supposed to do, man? You know what I mean? Am I supposed to respond and be quote unquote stirring up drama when I'm actually defending myself and my friends? Or am I supposed to just like let it happen and risk having it made out to be that I have a fucking pedophile running my Discord server, dude?